So, start off taking this. Start from the middle, because I can. Right, let me have a quick look at how it's all looking so far. Okay. Now I know what I'm expecting, so I'm expecting some gap around here. Taking off some of the uh, residue from the uh, duct tape. I don't think my emotions are coming across in film right now, but I am so happy with the way that looks so far. Yeah! It's actually on, guys. Right, I'm gonna do that side. Um, so as I'm doing that side, uh, I'm gonna cut the video because no point of showing you the same thing again. But no, you know what? Different the side. So this is actually coming out quite well. Um, really, really happy with the way it's actually all looking. There's some areas that I wish had better adhesion. Um, actually, no, that's incorrect. I wish it had a tighter fitment, um, purely because it'd be less work for me to do later on. But it's not the end of the world. And as I hope everyone knows, it's my baby, and I love doing it the way that I'm happy with it. So. Yeah, that's it. That's that side all done. Um, the reason why I left some of these like this is just so I can just spread around all the areas where there's some of this blue. It's actually quite annoying for the thumb <laughs> doing this. Double thumb power. So that's that all done. Now I'm going to go around assessing everything, looking at what I need to do, and go from there. So, now, peace. So, guys, one of the things that I've noticed is when i've gone to do the whole ceiling and everything i've got a gap here and a gap on the bottom left corner so what i'm going to need to do now is cut that with the dremel where the actual tiger seal is because that's obviously i'm going to let me seal this on so probably from wherever the gap starts basically and then from there i'm going to look at pressing it together um, when you use like some form of C clamp or something like that to hook through and hold it in place you know I wish I did that before but hey you learn from your mistakes the good thing is that honestly it does seem as though you don't need to apply tiger seal direct to paint because this has got such a good seal on it that yeah we'll see how it goes for now um, but yeah, really, really happy with the way it looks at the moment. So, gonna get on with doing that. And then we can start the next bit of Tiger sealing some of it up again. Which is great because then it means I have to wait 24 hours. Um, but it gives me an excuse to Tiger seal 
I mean, um, to put some fiberglass in through this gap area, stop anything from going through. Um, put some more fiberglass over there by the arches area um, to make sure that I've got a really good seal up over everywhere. So let's get to it. I'm gonna put my mask on. Next, what I'm gonna be doing now is shaving these off. So, don't need these anymore because of how I trimmed down the arch so got the dremel out still just gonna start cutting some of these up so what i've done there is i've gone round the actual holes and also this part here which i'm fillering up um, just to sand off some of the paint as well so now when I actually go over it with the filler it will be a nice smooth transition it should only be a small amount that I need to actually fill up I'm not gonna waste material on that and then it's not a decent to paint which I have heard isn't very good um, I'm gonna take these screws out as well um, so that I can filler over that as well which I might as well do now so, let's go. So technically, shouldn't need this in right now. And that's it. That's one part done. It's starting to rain outside. Just adding to the feeling of British weather. Um, but yeah, this side actually stuck on really nicely. I need to obviously get some more um, stability at the bottom area. But no, it's fine. So it's gonna do the same on the other side, and then I'll catch you guys in a minute. Quickly popped into Tesco's and check this beast out. Works alloys. See, it doesn't even have a headrest on it. It's a badass. <laughs> Pretty cool. One of the things I'm going to take off next is this trim here, which, from what I'm aware of, is just held on by this bolt here. So I'm just going to loosen that. It's quite loose already, actually. Not too shabby. There we go, that's off. And you can hear the rain pouring it. Not in, so you can hear the rain right. coming down outside. Still need to get those little leaks fixed in the garage. But yeah, that was pretty simple. Um, I need to take these tabs off because they need to be filled up I think 
Yeah, so you got a little bit of a groove here. So from that point all the way across, you need to join it with this area here. So you got the normal surface and the little groove here. Fill all that in. And then you basically have a nice smooth finish surface to go along with the arch and everything else. That's alright, that's not too bad. Right, I'm going to go to the other side now and then look into how to remove these little clips. Might to remove the door cards for that. So, yeah, not too bad. So guys, this is what I've done so far. Um, use a C-clamp there to tighten that area up. Um, I've tightened that screw up a little bit more to get a nice seal there. And on this side, basically with this hole I never got the the alignment right. So I ended up, basically the screw would end up sliding too much inside the actual gap that I created for it because there was too many different holes there. And then that basically meant it would never get a tight... Um, I'm trying to think of the right word. Whatever. Basically, the screw wouldn't go on tight enough, so this would never stay, and then it would end up slipping or something like that. So that's the reason why this never worked properly. So I got a longer screw, and I just fitted a nut onto it, so that will then allow a big enough surface area for it to tighten up. And I have put the tiger seal in there. That's obviously all going to get covered up. Once I get the bodywork prepped, now I just need to remove those and do the body filler. I'm going to end up doing the body filler first just because I don't want it to be rusting up or anything like that. And because of the humidity and the rain and everything, I'd rather just get that done beforehand. So I've got some stuff ready to do that with. Um, I've got some P40 and P38 just here. Um, for the parts that I'm going to do now, I'm going to be using the P38 um, because it's not that big of a surface area. Um, later on, I will be using the P40 for larger areas where I want to get a stronger adhesion and seal and everything like that. Um, but there's not going to be a huge amount of that, which is why I've only bought the small amount of that. Um, the P38 is the one that I got the large tub of because I know that's going to be the one that I'm going to end up using more. So yeah, for now, I am going to put this camera down, uh, put it onto the stand and get that ready. Um, there's a lot of videos out there on how to do body filler and everything by professionals. I don't know how professional they are because I've never met them. I'm not a professional. This is the first time I'm doing most of this. So yeah, um, I always knew that I kind of would be able to do all of this. I just never ended up doing it. So. This is my way of proving to myself that I can. Um, so yeah, uh, just gonna start with that now, get a few bits and pieces done, and then we can let that dry up. So for now, 